Hey everybody, welcome to an official video from Team iView uh, and Team JDB. I should give uh, a shout out to, uh, they've been uh, really uh, helping us uh, move iView forward of late. Right, this one uh, is going to show you some of the new functionality of version 1.04. Okay, I'm not going to show you the full install routine, but I'll, I'll touch on it a little. So let's go into settings and add-ons as you would. Install from repository and choose the iView guide repo. If you go into video add-ons, please install the iView wizard, the creator. Here, okay. Uh, in program add-ons, of course, install the guide, and you can also uh, install the extended info script, which gives you access to TV and movies thereafter. There is a video all about that previously done on the same YouTube channel so uh, you can go back and watch that at your leisure okay so with everything installed let's go and have a look at it if we open up iView this is the default uh, skin um, and we'll just uh, crack on so so let's select BBC one make sure I haven't got any streams assigned right when you just select it, it's going to give you the choices that are in the main ini file for iView. Okay, these are ones that we've added to the ini file for you. But let's say you have a a nice add-on, whether it's free, paid, it doesn't matter, uh, and you want to add it into iView so you can use it. And there you can. If we press C or menu or three lines, bring up the context menu basically, and uh, and we can go over to iView Creator. If we click on this, okay, we want to go to subscribe and then uh, let's go and find something to subscribe to. Um, Project Cypher, great little add on. Let's go into there. Now, obviously, this wasn't in the list a moment ago, but you'll see what's about to happen. Go into the IPTV channels. Go and check where the channels are. So let's go into IPTV1. Right, we've got a lot of channels listed here. Great. So if I come back, I'm going to press the context menu again. And we want to subscribe to it. Okay. So it's going to generate the uh, the files now. Okay, so we go back. And we now need to click on create. Okay. Now we're doing this with iView open, so we're going to press return and it's going to take us back to iView. You're going to need to close iView at this point. Okay, give it a couple of seconds, open it back up. Now, with luck, when I click on the channel this time, if it's all worked, it should now give me the additional options that I've just added. There it is Project Cypher BBC One. Select it. If the channel is live, it's going to play. Okay, let's come back out. Okay, let's go back into the creator. Now, if the add-on for any reason changes links or goes down, you can clear the subscriptions. If you clear subscriptions and then create, that's now blanked it. We're now back to exactly as we were. If we come out, come out go back in it's going to give us the choices that are there by default within iView does help if I remove the stream first textures not loading again mark we'll have to work on that one right remove the stream and the options should not include site for that time they don't there we go now you can do this for any any add-on within reason um, there's a couple that we have, we're struggling with at the moment but 90% uh, of them should work so we go back into the creator subscribe and and choose another add-on um, let's add something that I know is working for me uh, yeah. this will do so, live TV, 
subscribe it's going to generate the files and we're just going to come back out okay remember now we've added we can go in and add as many as we like so I can go back and uh, I'll do cipher again right, menu subscribe let it generate come back and we're going to create that's it let it do its thing come out like I say we're doing it from within within iView if you actually do it from the add-on you don't need to keep going in and out of iView but it doesn't matter okay Let's make sure we've got no streams there good and we'll have the ones that I've just added here simply TV cipher OTTV okay there we go that's how to use the uh, the any creator I'd like to say a big thank you to um, primeval on the Cody forum who got this uh, started did an absolutely amazing job on it and uh, it's really added some some great elements to the guides so, uh, thank you very much for that guys right let's touch on uh, yeah, movies and TV shows if you'd like I said before you installed the extended info if we go on to TV shows it's going to do exactly that. You can go and choose and watch whatever you want to. Same rule of thumb for movies. Or oh, go and have a surf around YouTube, whichever you fancy. Right, that's it, guys. That's how you use it. It's uh, as easy as that. Um, inside of iView, I will touch on for uh, anybody that wants to have their their add-on fully integrated. If we go into the iView settings, <coughs> there's my username. Try not to use mine if you can. In subscriptions here, you will be adding more to this to whomever wants it. Just get in touch with us. Um, we'll do our best to help. Um, you can actually build the file from within and it will generate uh, the channels for your subscription services okay so if I go back into iView now in theory just within a few seconds that should now have added all the channels from uh, from that particular sub okay so if I click on it having a little bit of trouble with uh, playback on some um, let's see if this is working but this isn't the add-ons fault this is uh, there's something in iView that I need to check for some reason it's not pulling some of the links or it's taking a little too long that's all and again might be my internet today <coughs> excuse me And there we go. So there you go. Add pretty much any add-on to iView. And uh, like I say, thanks to everybody that's been involved. And uh, I hope this video makes life a little easier for you. Good luck, everyone.